Alright, we've got this dead guy among us. Man, that's kind of a morbid thing, huh? So really, we're just starting with the lips for the top of the severed half. And you want to make it wide enough that you can fit another lips inside and then the bone, but not too wide that it looks like we're looking on top of it from a bird's eye view. And getting them symmetrical can be tricky, and so try and get that as close as you can. Mirror image on both sides so that the width, as it starts to taper off, is the same. Um, and then in the center of the second ellipse, you're going to start the bone. Make sure the bottom of the bone curves down exactly like the ellipses. You want that same curve repeated. And then the body, the legs, kind of taper in slightly. And then that width where the crotch area starts um, is about halfway down. And then you've got your little stubby legs. I'm really paying attention to that negative space between the two legs. The left side is angled. And then the left leg, um, I don't think it matters if you draw it little bit longer so get the idea that's in you know closer to you, but I don't think it matters too much so the bone is almost like a heart shape the left part is a little bit smaller the right part rounds more and then you've got some highlights and I outlined my highlights so that I had little areas that I knew I needed to add um, a darker value or a lighter shade of the cream colors and so I'm just trying to get those angles right and um, highlights right and my shadows right and then once I'm happy with those I'm going to drop some shadows down in the legs on the left side of both legs and then after that you're really ready to ink oh it looks like I didn't add my shadows till later sorry about that so um, I'm doing a heavier outline with my ink I have seen um, I think people like to use sharpie I really don't mind sharpie it just bleeds and so I feel like if I draw slow, I lose control of the thickness of my ink. And so just for these sketches, I decided to use my um, art pens instead. And the brand that I'm using is called um, Pigment Liner. They're water-based, and so I don't mind them. Sometimes water-based, you know, it bleeds, and so I'll try to use permanent. But I'm just using my Prismacolor pencils, and I've got three different value shades of the creams. And then notice how I used my lightest highlight as the base coat for the entire bone. And then I added my darker on top of that just to unify and get the color closer to how I wanted it. And then I go back through and touch up my ink. And then I'm doing the gray base and just layering colors. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm doing you know, a medium pressure, but many different layers and overlapping to get um, the colors that I wanted. I practiced all of these values to the side on scratch paper before I committed to my sketch, and that's always a good idea. Unless you have the perfect Prismacolor pencils, then lucky you. Um, I think the kit I'm using was like a, probably 36 colors choice I had. And once I'm done again coloring with the Prismacolor pencils, just because I, I know I need to, I'm gonna touch up with the ink because it kind of mutes um, the ink that I've done. And really, then I am done.